Hi guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today what I'm going to show you is another way to do inner corners. You can wire it and bend it around, or you can use corner aid. The corner aid is for our exterior corners, but say here's a typical corner. You could open it, guys. Just I do 10 footers all the time. Just drop it, open it, open it. You can cut pieces off. It's, uh, there's, there's nothing to stop you except your own imagination. Say for this guy right here. This is an interior corner, and it's much faster just to bend these, put it on, make sure I don't get in that Sikaflex caulking. We have uh, a lot of caulking around this window that we just put on, and man, you got to watch that stuff. It gets everywhere. Anyhow, I'll show you another example of um, you open the corner. You just hold it and drop it down a little bit. You don't have to look. You just drop it down a little bit, open it up a little bit because it's pretty tight. And you just get it where you want it. You want it right there. Squeeze that guy in there. Squeeze it in there. Put, put a couple staples this way. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put our exterior corner on. That exterior corner technically is supposed to line up with what your goal is. What is my goal? My goal is to match this wall when we do plaster. That lines up. That lines up. Of course, you folks can't see it. It lines up. So this has got to line up with it. Then my top piece has got to line up with it also. And again, my top piece is this guy here. Now I, I touch the tip of here to here, put a, put a staple in there just to hold it temporarily, here to here, and a couple underneath. And if you guys, if you're doing this stuff, wear glasses. I'm not, my, I don't have my glasses on, but uh, I just set them down. Why do I say that? Because you could hit a, a strap and then a staple can hit you in the face. And yes, I've had that happen. Down here is kind of an odd detail, but plastering is all about improvising, guys. Okay, we have a regular corner aid. I'm going to open it up. Why am I opening it up? So that I can get this detail here. Fella says, well, gee, I want, damn it, ah, we caulk this right here so no water goes in, and sure enough, that's what I put my hand in. We, I left the metal here because I wanted to watertight it. Then we take our last piece of corner because I want to build this up a little bit. And uh, try. Now there you have it guys. Loud compressor. There you have it. That's ready for plaster. Uh, after the city does their thing, we come back, we uh, do two coats and match the finish. There's uh, nothing to this finish, but notice everything lines up. These line up, and we can give anybody what they want. You're only limited to your imagination. Anyhow, that's the proper way to use inner or outer corner. Same thing. My name is Kirk, Jason on the camera, and as usual, guys, we thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.